What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another video. I'm a little bit late to this. It's actually 8.30 in the morning. They release stuff at 5 in the morning. I kind of overslept, so I'm three and a half hours late to this. But still, I thought, why not? There's no harm in getting it out late. Better, none, uh, better sometime than never, I guess that's how it goes. Today, we'll be looking at the new team of the season, Tefride, I believe it is, or Tefride. So please let me know down below how you're supposed to pronounce his name. In return, obviously, with these objectives, you do go ahead and you do get an 89 rated card. Now, I have had, I have had a brief look at his stats. And he is 4-star, 3-star, I believe, or 3-star, 4-star, which personally I don't think is brilliant, but he is 89 rated. So I always say with these, even if you do not use him, you've got an 89 rated fodder, and with a guaranteed Totsy species coming up, you're going to need uh, team of the season players, high rating, so it's probably worth him just to complete full fodder. Right, so he's got 3-star skills, 4-star weak foot, 6 foot 3 with a high and average body type. So for me... I don't know, 82 agility, 82 balance, he's not going to feel great on the ball. He is not going to feel great on the ball whatsoever. For me, this isn't a definition of a meta card, but even if you do want to use him, maybe you're a fan of him, or maybe you just want to try him out and you, do not, and you don't necessarily play to the meta, you have some fun. But still, boys, starting off score using Saudi Pro League players in three separate squad battle matches on at least professional difficulty. Beauty of this, you can do it in, in squad battles or rivals, you have got an option. Score two goals in two separate squad battle matches on world class difficulty with players with at least four star weak foot assist with a cross and three separate squad battle matches on at least professional difficulty with at least five sortie players in your squad and score and assist in six squad battle matches or rivals and the thing is it's only on professional difficulty boys um all of them are on professional difficulty yeah, no, one's world-class difficulty, so it is a problem. But the score two goals in two separate uh, squad battles is very easy once again. Just make sure you've got a Saudi League four-star, four-star striker up front. As for the Pro League lineup, assist with a cross and three separate squad battles. Uh, just make sure you obviously have five Saudi Pro League players in the club. And score and assist is obviously scoring and assisting. Now, honestly, some people do get confused with this one. I've had questions with these ones before. Some people asking, does it mean score and assist with one singular player? Or can you score with one Dutch player, assist with another? You can score with one player, assist with another, and it counts as both. For example, if you've got pro mids and let's just say a Dutch striker, uh, let's say, say that Bido dude, Bido, I'm pretty sure is how you pronounce his name, the correct inform. Let's say you assist with pro mids and you score with Bido. They're both Dutch, so you're going to get that goal and assist. Only scoring one goal, but you're going to get both the score and assist uh, objective completed. And then what I can say with this one is literally all you got to do is just score five goals and then keep refreshing. I'm going to show you guys what I always do with my squad battles. What I do, and it 100% is the best method because you do not want to be playing on the high rated teams, is you literally just play the easy teams and refresh. For example, we've got a 62 rated score of 49 chem. Go ahead and play that. Uh, it's on world class difficulty, so you'd want to go ahead and put it on world class difficulty. Uh, much, much easier compared to obviously the team you're facing is only a 62 rated squad with a centre back at striker. And the centre back in game has like 50, 45 pace and like. 15 shooting so if you do play world class on the really poor teams you'll be fine but you always do get the 187s for 88 rated uh 84 rated teams so what you want to do is after you play that one game you can go ahead and you can refresh you get up to nine refreshes but each time you refresh as you can see we've got two other shitty squads that we can go ahead and play now you can refresh it up to 10 times and i also get asked this a lot when you do refresh it up to 10 times after you refresh it all 10 times or after you've refreshed all 40 matches points do not count anymore so you won't be able to get elite one or high high ranks um in squad battle points but it'll it all still counts towards your objectives so you can refresh it as much as you want but obviously it does stop counting points after all 10 refreshes so boys i'd honestly just do that now the last part of this video is we're going to go ahead and we are going to build a cheap team um if you guys don't know how this works we go and build a team around 15 to twenty thousand coins to help you guys out boys we 
So boys, we have gone ahead and built the team. Obviously, we have got the five Saudi League players at the defenders at the back. So we have gone with our right back is Al Barak, who is obviously the best right back, uh, best looking right back uh, card because I mean, 83 pace, solid agility. You're very limited. Now we are playing fullbacks at centre back, kind of like a foot champs game. I do not know how to pronounce his name. All I know is he does look like sway back. Left centre back, we have gone with Lucas Lima, and at left back, we have gone for Al Sharani, who all look very solid cards and in there you can have anyone we've just gone with the highest rated being Casio. now obviously that's the five Saudi starting players that you need and now all you need is the Dutch players for the score goals etc etc so at right mid we have gone with Hate the Boer we have gone for Botis, uh, Promes and Dil Rossin which are all just players delivering the ball assisting and up front the main man is going to be a Bodu which he's got the five star weak foot Absolutely perfect, high, low, five-star, weak foot um, to obviously help with the uh, score with players with at least four-star weak foot objective. Now, lads, I know, once again, a four-star weak foot player, so you want to try score with him, but once you need to score with Saudi, a Saudi league player in three separate matches, you need to score with this tier three day dude. His objective we're doing, except his 66 cars got 41 pace, 37 agility, and 49 balance. So, yeah, it's going to be hard using him, but at the same time, you're obviously facing easy squad battles. So all you want to do, boys, is literally just with uh, Promes, with, with your whole Dutch midfield, you just want to try and assist Bodu, both Bodu and Tefrede, to free, free day, I believe it is, in the same match. That's all you got to do, and then obviously after you score five or six goals, you can put the controller down. You do also have to score a cross, I believe, which we're going to have a double check at the objectives now. But that is the best team that you guys can build. Or I say the best team, it's the cheapest, I think, best value team in my opinion. I have had a, a look through them. Is this going to load anytime soon? The score using Saudi Pro League players in three separate matches is what that Dutch striker De Vrede is for. I uh, score two goals in two separate matches with players using at least four-star weak foot. That can be either the Bodu with a five-star weak foot or to Vrede with a four star weak foot assist with a cross which can be with anyone obviously you need the five Saudi players starting in your squad and score and assist in six squad battle matches uh, with using Dutch players so like I said you're going to want to target you've got the whole Dutch midfield and you've got the Dutch strikers so you're just going to want to do that after you score five goals like I said just jam your controller keep refreshing your squad battles until you find the easiest match it's been your boy Davis hopefully this did help you out if it did make sure to drop a like and sub I'm going to get some reviews out uh, on some of the new Saudi League tots. Until next time, boys, I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, lads.